Facial features split into three main categories, high importance levels, average levels of importance, and minor importance levels. And within these three, there are many subcategories. But today we will cover this subject to facial features from another perspective and also three categories. Fail loss, hair loss, and neither features with of course a little bit of harmony needing to be also mentioned. This video, like many others, will be split into multiple parts. In the first part, we will talk about what are halos, and in the second one, we will explain phalos as well. And in the final part, we will look into the neither features with some examples included. If you want to support the channel and get your face evaluated by me with personalized look max and advice, link will be down in the description. If you want to read more about topics like this, you can check out my blog at nearfacerating.com. Without further ado, let's get this video started. The most important thing to understand about halos is that the features that fulfill the cultural archetype for attractiveness for that same feature. They are features society deems attractive in their own right, not necessarily by how well they play with others. You could see a disembodied photo of that nose, hair, skin, teeth, lips, eyes, whatever, and would call it pretty, without seeing anything else. It will also be a cliche in how obvious it is that it's considered the best, or one of the best versions of that feature. The specifics will change from one culture and subculture to another, but in one way or another they are all established somehow as attractive or ideal. When it comes to hard maxing or plastic surgery, they are often the aspirational version of that feature. The version or traits of that feature a plastic surgeon or other beauty professionals will probably assume you want to approximate when you come to them. Phalos are not just every feature that isn't a halo. Please let me repeat this again. Phalos are not every feature that isn't a halo. Thinking like this is how you get overboard and get botched surgery. Every single feature you have should not be changed to be the ideal. That's not a good way to become attractive. I'm not even trying to be feel goody with this. You're risking your overall facial harmony by tweaking every single feature that isn't a bona fide halo. Not even touching on the health risks and budget concerns. A phalo is a feature that truly lowers aesthetics and evokes a negative reaction visually. It's not neutral, it's actively negative. It's your, for example, his or she's cute but her nose or his nose is too big or it's crooked feature. Possible trace of an actual phalo versus just a regular non-halo feature. The feature looks like it came off from a different type of face or body. Perhaps you have a very delicate features overall, except your forehead, which is much larger and denser looking than the rest of your face and body. Maybe all your features are lush and wide, except this one narrow and crooked part. You get the idea. We all recognize different types of faces, and sometimes features look like they don't belong overall. This feature could be a phalo. The sign of well-needed plastic surgery, as much as any plastic surgery can be, is often the new feature matches the person's other features or body type better than their natural one ever did. This can be tricky though, as we're often not the best judges of these on our own faces, and they're essentially an issue of harmony, which is a much subtler issue than other phalos. The features could be described as damaged in some way. You fried your hair, you broke your nose as a child, it's crooked now, your teeth are rotting due to medication you used to take. These are often fellows and often indicate ill health past or present. The features is extremely exaggerated opposite of the halo. Not just thin lips, no lips at all. Not just the average skin, pus gushing out, almost to the point of caricature. Often this feature has been insulted to your face. If a feature is just fine and you never really noticed it before you started look maxing, it might not actually be a phalo, it could just as often be neither a halo nor a phalo. Neither is or every feature that isn't a halo or a phalo. Most people's faces are made almost exclusively of neithers, with about one halo and about one phalo each. That's the average young person's face, forgettable, not hot, not ugly. The hard thing about neithers is that you can't really describe them specifically, because they encompass literally endless versions of each feature that is neither a well-known beauty standard, a halo, nor a well-known flaw or obvious detriment, a fellow. For each feature on a face, there is probably 3 to 4 halo versions, and 3 or 4 legit fellow versions, and all of the other thousands of versions of that human feature is probably a neither. They basically have a neutral effect on your face. If the rest of your face is a bunch of legit halos, this feature doesn't bring you down at all. If the rest of the face is a bunch of legit fellows, this feature doesn't bring you up either. It's just there. Really all that can be said about them is that their mixture with your legit halo and legit fellows is what gives the face, even among people of similar attractiveness, their variation. Without them, neutral features, all attractive faces would be identical. And all ugly faces will also be identical. That's just pure logic. Neithers are easiest to understand with examples. So here are some examples of halos, neithers, and phalos. For each feature, Mostly sticking to very general American standards here. Some of these things can change slightly from culture to culture or even subculture to subculture. 
we will be using teach because they are such an easy example to understand. Typical American Halo example. Straight wide palette. The type of teeth that veneers approximate. So Jessica Alba's teeth fulfill the typical beauty standards in the US. They are a legit halo for her. Her looks only go up with her smile versus her straight face. A fellow example, rotten brown teeth. I really don't think we need an example here. An otherwise attractive person will be brought down by this teeth. Neither. Normal teeth, they're just average. Not bad at all. Nothing special either. Of course, hundreds of other examples exist with all other features and facial ratios, but what do you guys think? Let me know your thoughts down in the comment section. That's it for today's video, hope you guys enjoyed it, a like and subscribe will be highly appreciated, and like usual, catch you guys in the next one.